What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey, and guess what? You're looking at the next host of Brawl Talk. What's up, Lex? Yeah. Ah, oh, what's happening, man? I am so excited to be here in Finland, getting ready to talk some Brawl with the Brawl Stars team. Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Let's go. Really excited. We're going to be interviewing Ryan like it normal. We're in Finland right now. I think we're doing the recording tomorrow for when this goes live. We're pre-recording mm -hmm. this. We're not in Finland yet, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, and About the same. really excited. Going to be a lot of fun. I do want to remind you guys, you know, we're recording tomorrow, but it's still going to take, you know, a good amount of time, like maybe two to three weeks, if not a little more, for it yeah. to be released. So keep your wait out. Keep watching for it. But uh, today's video has got some gameplay, and we're also going to talk about what we hope is in the update. So, Lex, if you were to pick one thing, what do you think is the most important thing you would want in the update? Um, well, of course, we don't know. This was pre-recorded like a week before we were ever there, so we don't have a clue really what's in the update. Right, good point. Um, and I think that if I could just, uh, you know, dream wish list, what could I, re what would I really want? I think above all things, there's two things that really stand out to me, and mm -hmm. that would be spectating in leagues. Yeah. Now, do you hope like an in-game league are you hoping for? Yeah. Like, uh... Yeah, so, you know... Go ahead. Yeah, in my mi in my mind, um, mm -hmm. which is you know rather small sometimes, but in my mind, I think that it would be really cool to have you know like most mobas do that you know this is kind of a moba, it's kind of a take on a moba, yeah. Um, where they have like leagues that you progress through, uh, like you know like League of Legends, you have you know like probably like ten different leagues that you progress through, yep. and you can choose to play either that way or you know just like a casual match, which would kind of be you know, our ranked match now, mm -hmm. or I don't know how they would work it out. But the, the basic premise is that I want some reason for guys who are maxed out, for guys that are in game and for guys that are new, just have a different way of playing and some reason to play yeah. you know, once you're, especially near the very top, because mm -hmm. once you get way up there and you're maxed out on trophies, it's either you're doing it just to really push up your rank or there's not yeah. a lot of reason to play anymore. Yeah, all you can do is like set personal goals, but... Yeah, yeah, there's not much to push for, really. Mm -hmm. And one thing, one thing along with those leagues, I think what I would love to see is that, um, and I was talking about this with actually Despotic just today, is that um, give some rewards for those leagues. Like maybe like the top one or two tiers of all of the leagues, yeah. you would get like a cool custom skin that you can only get from that league. Mm -hmm. do, I mean... That would you be know really as well cool. as I do, there would be people grinding like crazy to get there, to get that yeah. custom skin. Another cool thing would be, like, even if they gave, like, band rewards for, like, whatever the top one, two, or, like, three bands were, they, like, gave, right. you know, like, each member of the band, you know, a certain amount of, like, gems or gold or whatever. That would be really right. cool, too. I hadn't thought about that, but that is a pretty cool idea, you know, kind of, a, like, have a, a cumulative total of their, their ranking points, whatever they would be. Mm -hmm. That would be actually pretty cool. Yeah, something like that. But you're right. Ladder definitely needs some sort of changes. I like how in yeah. Clash Royale, like, the top of the ladder... You know, all of those games, everyone's really close in trophies, and all of those games up there are really meaningful. And, you know, they can drop you pretty far up the ranking or pretty, you know, high up the ranking if you win. But, like, Brawl Stars, it's, you know, you win 10 games in a row, you might not even change a position if you're near the yeah. top. So it's like, uh, if they could make that a little closer, more competitive, that would be really cool too. Yeah, that's, that's how it is around number 700 in the world as well. I, I feel mm -hmm. it. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I, I, that was, yeah, you know. I also want, like, some new game modes. I think that would be really cool. Maybe, like, some of the really stuff, like, I've seen on the Reddit community is, like, Capture the Flag or, like, Domination. Mm -hmm. Those seem really cool. Like, Domination, where you're, there's, like, an area of the map, and the more time you spend in it, the more points your team gets. Yep. That would be really cool. Yeah, I've seen I've seen some of those ideas as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, and, and I've seen even guys like Kairos and some other guys that, we you know, we kind of find some back People get way to try to simulate that game, you know, mode. Mm -hmm. But I would love to see, at least, you know, one new game mode. Just give us one new game mode. I would be completely ecstatic about that. So, I mean, again, we have no idea yet what's yeah. going to be in the update, how, how big or small it's going to be. Yeah. I, I If I'm just being completely frank, I don't know if I would get my hopes up too high because they normally say, like, you know, like, what, three or four months in between updates, and it's been a couple months. So, yeah. I, I think we all need maybe need to lower our expectations a little bit because the last update they changed 
so much, you know, and yeah. you can't expect that every single time because you can't just change the game that much every single update. It's not feasible. I'm, I'm but, curious what um, tricks they have up their sleeve. I'm sure they'll have something, they, but sure I don't. They, I, yeah, I don't know oh, what. Yeah. I'm sure they're they've got something for us, and I'm excited to find out. I'm excited for you all to find out as well. Mm -hmm. But they've had good updates so far, so I have I have faith. <laughs> Um, hopefully we'll see if it's what's changing or what's being added. Hopefully there's a new yeah. game mode, but yeah, who knows? New brawler, who knows? Uh, <laughs> if, if, if there were, all right. If, so if there were a new brawler, mm -hmm. what kind of brawler, what kind of role or what kind of brawler would you really want to see? Yeah. So they say they always like fill or not maybe always, but they tend to like have the new brawler fill like what they deem is like a missing role or something. Right, right. So I don't think it would be another tank. They just added Daryl. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing... And tanks are really strong enough, but of course you can just, you know, bounce change. I'm guessing it might be another, like, mid-range um, support type of troop. And something that would be cool is maybe something like a, another mechanic. Maybe even, like, it boosts the attack offense or attack rate or damage for your hit. That would be really cool, something like that. What were you thinking? I, I think that... I don't know if it needs to be a tank, but mm -hmm. I think that we need... There's only two melee brawlers in the game, and I get it the game is skewed to punish them a little bit right now, mm -hmm. but I think that in the grand scheme, they probably do need to balance all that out. Yeah. But we've only got two melee brawlers. I want another melee brawler. Okay. I, I, I don't know what it would be. I, would, I, I think I'd like to see a brawler that has some kind of control maybe not do a lot of damage but kind of control maybe even like a 360 aoe stomp that he does that uh, I, I don't know like a but sword I, 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 I like, i've seen a lot of samurai ideas yeah yeah or something like that that's right you did the video on all the different brawler concepts yeah um, and you did a... i would like to i would oh no go ahead the skins right yeah I, I would like to see i would like to see a melee brawler mm -hmm. and right we were just saying skins would be great to add too lex just did a bunch of mm -hmm. community ideas for skins. That was a pretty cool video. What one did you like the most out of those? Well, I man, the, the guy named Free FGP, he was doing some really good stuff. But mm -hmm. Crow, the Electro Crow skin that was in there, yeah, dude, that I was would, cool. I would literally, I would, I would drop some money straight up right now to buy that for my Crow because it looks so yeah, like awesome. Not just a skin. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that like it would be cool. I, I wouldn't expect it now or really anytime really soon, but. Um, if the skins weren't just a skin, if they like affected their attack as well, where like the electro crow, that's what for I was example, thinking. Instead of throwing, that's instead of yeah. throwing poisons, he could like shock and stuff. Mm -hmm. That would be so cool. Or even just like, uh, but electro crow made me think of that. Like even if they just changed how the attack looks, like if they made right. like electro crow, his daggers were blue or something. That would be really cool. Right. Um, right. Yeah. I don't that know. Maybe awesome. even barley his bottle changes. Depending on whatever his, you know, golden probably maybe his skin gold, he had. something, right? Yeah. Um, now I, here's one thing I was thinking about, and we haven't, I don't think we've mentioned anything about it yet. But do you think there's going to be any new maps in this update? That's a good question. I mean, so I don't think there's going to be any smash and grab or bounty maps. I mean, there's like eight bounty okay. maps, seven smash and grab, or six smash and grab. Um, we've only got a few heist maps though. Yeah, there's four heist maps. I have a feeling they're four not going to do a heist map. Just because it's, I think it's been pretty hard for them to balance them. So yeah. I was thinking the same thing as you were saying that. Uh huh. Yeah. So maybe not, but you know they could. There's only four. You're right. But maybe like brawl ball. There's only three brawl ball maps, or even showdown. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, one of those showdown, two. I I think showdown would probably be great because showdown's up all the time too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. I don't play showdown very much. Um, as much as I like yeah. tilting trophies, I don't play it that much. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that one thing in relation to maps that would be really cool that I would love to see, and again, I don't think it's coming this update, but who? I mean, who knows, um, is I've called them in the past before dynamic maps. You oh, know, something yeah. that changes while the map's going on. Like, say it's got a river right. that runs through the middle of the map with some bridges over it, but the river's dry at the beginning. You can walk across it, no problem. It's just wide open. Mm -hmm. And as the map moves on, you know, the, the river fills up, and pretty soon you can only cross the bridges. Or yeah. I mean, the possibilities would be endless if they were, you know, to add some sort of dynamic features within the maps. Yeah, or even, like, stuff on the map rotates. You know, every, like, 30 mm -hmm. seconds or 45 seconds, that would be cool. There's a lot of yeah, ideas for that, for sure. Yeah. 
All right, so now I'm sure there's one thing I was thinking about that we haven't brought up as far as things we want in the next update. Of course, everyone wants global release. What are you thinking, Lex? Is it going to be this update? Uh, yeah, the elephant in the room um, that we've been sidestepping here a little bit, but um, I, I think that, and I hate to be disappointing, but I, I don't see it happening. I mean, really? again, no inside information. We don't know anything yet, mm -hmm. but... I just I don't see it happening because unless unless they were to release a just a much bigger update than what I'm guessing, mm -hmm. they would have to. I see. I think they have to have spectating in there. Leagues almost have to. Replays yeah. almost have to. It seems like such they would have to have such a big update before they can release it global. And with only two months since the last update, or you know, it'll be three months when they release it. But mm -hmm. I just don't see it happening. I don't see how they could fit all of that in there and have it ready for global. My gut feeling is that this game is going to be in beta for about a year before it hits global, so that'd be like in June. Oh, That's man. That's just a gut feeling. Yeah. Um, my thoughts, obviously, I really want to be this Global's Update 2. I think it definitely depends on what sort of new things you're introducing. I don't know if they need to test like new features. I don't know if they need to test the servers for replays or spectating, if that's coming in. Right. Um, it's going to depend on how much they're adding, or maybe even... My ideal hope is if this isn't global, that they're just like testing whatever the new features are and maybe they don't need a huge update next time around and they're just sort of seeing how it goes. Maybe that, that would be happen. cool. That's my hope if yeah. it's not this update. Right. And I'm sure that even whatever they release this update, I'm sure they've got more stuff that's already in the works. It just might not happen to be ready this update. It's not like they mm -hmm. release an update then... Okay, well, that was cool. Let's start back from scratch and build a whole new update again. I'm sure they've yeah. got prog, you know, other things in the works. And so mm -hmm. um, I, I am hoping that maybe after this one, just maybe a couple more months after this update, we'll see a global launch. It's, that's my hope. I, yeah. It's kind of what I feel, but I don't know. Yeah, I feel like the game, if they have replays and spectating, is going to be ready, in my opinion. But I worry that they're such yeah. perfectionists about what they're doing in their game <laughs> that they're going to want to just wait a little bit longer. So I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, one thing is, though, is that if I think back to some of their other games, and of course this is not right. the same team that's building this game as True. it is, you know, Clash Royale or Clash, Clash Clans, but mm -hmm. it's kind of the only thing we really have to draw comparison to, yeah. really. Um, when you look at Clash Royale, I mean, like, say, the leagues there in Clash Royale, they didn't exist when the game launched. No, there's so much. Spec yeah. Spectating? It didn't exist when the game launched. Mm -hmm. Now, now that people have experienced that, though, I mean, their their expectations are higher for what they expect in this new game. So yeah. I think it's more pressure on them to include some of this stuff when it hits global. But mm -hmm. I mean, is it absolutely a million percent necessary? No, but I mean, we don't it, think it, so, it right? Kind of almost is. No, I but I think the the spectating is almost necessary. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, that is. I, I agree. Think, right. The other stuff I think would be really good, but mm -hmm. the new people coming in, they wouldn't hit the problem of, hey, I'm maxed out and there's nothing left to do right. for a long time. Right. So yeah. there'd be time to build that those other features into the game. Mm -hmm. Very true. I mean, yeah, like another example, Clash of Clans didn't even have clan wars. You know, Clash yeah, of Clans. The iconic thing. Took them two That's to three years. That's the iconic years. thing. Yeah. Yep. So you're right. I think they just have way higher expectations and I guess we do too. I think that's probably true. Yeah. We're all spoiled by this point, you know? It's, it is what it is. Yep. So we will just have to wait and see. But that was all I was gonna talk about for today's video. I just wanted to get some ideas out there. We'll keep you guys updated. We'll post some pictures, post some info while we're in Finland. But thanks for coming on the channel, Lex. Absolutely, man. It was a pleasure. To be here and let's go have some fun in finland man for sure and guys we also did another video on lex's channel so make sure to check it out and give the guy a sub as well all right guys that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and we will catch you later